To begin this video off, I will be quoting Steve Lacey a lot from his interview with Variety because Variety is the only platform that I've seen that he's had an interview with since the dying out of his hit single, Bad Habits, and the end of his Giving You the World Tour promoting his album, Gemini Rights. In this video, we will be going over what happened to Steve Lacey. Let's go. I wish I knew you wanted me. The reason I'm making this video today is because the other night while I was closing down after my shift at work while sweeping on the radio we usually have a station on where it plays his songs and I heard bad habits and while I was listening to it I just remembered how catchy and good of a song this really is and it made me wonder I haven't heard from Steve Lacey in a while and I feel like I haven't seen any updates on him dropping or anything so i was just wondering what happened to steve lacy i find it crazy as an artist or any influencer or celebrity you could go from the top of the world to no one talking about you this man steve had tiktok all in his hands you couldn't go three swipes with, without hearing bad habits or even dark red dark red is the shit but you just couldn't go anywhere without hearing steve lacy in like 2022 the man was everywhere in the process of recording this video today is january 19 2024 and if you go to steve's spotify his apple music his soundcloud his youtube you'll only see gemini rights and older releases from steve since the release of Gemini Rights being July 15th, 2022. Steve hasn't released a new song. He hasn't given any snippets and hasn't even announced or mentioned anything of a new song or album releasing. If you're like me and know how it is being an artist, you know, not giving out any snippets, not telling the people there's new music coming not saying anything about an album or anything for over a year that's career suicide for a lot of artists but i will say for steve is different because he's been doing this and his fan base is different from a lot of people's he has more of a like frank ocean type of fan base where they want the music but they'll be patient for it because they know it's gonna hit basically in the interview with Variety published on August 8th, 2023, Lacey says how he is content with what he calls passive fame. And he even explains why he didn't make his actual face the cover of his album Gemini Rights because he didn't want people to recognize him after. A lot of people don't understand as a celebrity, you can't go out. You can't be human. You can't do the regular stuff you do as a person right now and at some point you know as cool as it sounds it's really not you can't even go grocery shopping without people bombarding you for pictures and signatures and all this bullshit and so steve i can understand where he's coming from especially living in a place like california where he's not looking for that attention he just wants to drop his music and go about his day also in the interview Steve goes on to say how he's became interested in actually pursuing an acting career and getting into film himself, but he's been scared because of the attention that it'll put onto him. He even goes on to say, I can go number one and be on the radio and still go hang out. You go number one on Netflix, you can't do nothing. Movie star fame is way different. Steve was not capping here. If you think of every artist that went number one or had a hit song in 2010, you cannot tell me how they look like. How does that one dude who sung somebody that you used to know? I used to be on Vine singing, I get high all the time. I don't know how these people look like at all. How does the Firefly guy look like? I don't know. How does the Gangnam Style nigga look like? I don't know. They could be white or Chinese like I be seeing on Twitter. What do you look like if you're white or Chinese? I don't know. I know Leonardo DiCaprio. I know how Angelina Jolie look like. I know how Denzel Washington look like. I know how it just over look like. I know how all these actors look like. But there be songs I literally love and play to this day on my playlist. And I do not know who the person is at all. I don't know how Daft Punk looks like. I don't know how Marshmello look like. I don't know. 
So you tell me who made Harlem Shake. You don't know who made Harlem Shake. I don't know who made Harlem Shake. But we still was doing that house, so you tell me. Towards the end of the interview, Lacey even explains how he feels about his stardom and fame, saying, I don't crave to be super famous, but I also try not to be afraid of that. Anyone watching this video inspiring to be an influencer, an artist, a doctor, an actor, a lawyer, an entrepreneur, anything at the top of their field to the point that they do gain notoriety and fame, I want you to understand that there's levels to it. You have to understand the game that you're getting into and understand that that is your new life. You cannot go back to the way things used to be and keep your success. That's why we have one hit wonders. That's why we have people who retire very early because they cannot handle that stress. You have to really understand that you're giving up your life. You're signing away who you used to be. You now cannot go outside. You can't go grocery shopping like you used to. You can't go to the pool like you used to. You can't go to the beach. You can't go take a walk. You can't go to the even fucking DMV. Yeah, good luck trying to go to Walmart. Okay. Yeah, okay. Everywhere you go, you will have those people staring at you. The cameras panned at you. People coming up to you. People trying to test you maybe. People just going all out being eccentric in ways that make you anxious and make you feel stressed. Because it's a lot to keep up with. Every move that you make will be watched. It's like being an ant under a magnifying glass. People are watching your every single move. And if you do the wrong thing or you do what you feel is right and it's not what's right to other people, you will be ridiculed and you can be potentially canceled for the rest of your life maybe. Opportunities in your future can be taken away just by a simple mistake, just by an accident. And it's all a part of being famous. And I can understand why Steve just wouldn't want that stress. Who really would? So I don't have no blame towards him for taking a step back, seeing how fast his career was going up and saying, I need to calm down because I can't handle none of this right now. In my opinion, I feel like Steve should continue to take his time before releasing anything. He shouldn't rush it. He shouldn't put his foot down and do anything he's not comfortable with doing just because his fans are hungry for it. I'm sure Steve knows that the more time he takes, the possibility he knows his fans might die out, but that's just a risk that you have to take because when you know you have pure talent, pure talent's gonna win all the time. That's why people stick around for artists like Kendrick Lamar or Frank Ocean or J. Cole whenever they take these times to perfect their albums before dropping. We don't want artists like Roddy Rich, for example, who feed into the hype and end up dropping something that disappoints everyone and now he's looked at as a flop and a joke and he's even been humiliated to the point where he's had to deactivate his social media because people are constantly criticizing him in his comments and on his posts and on his snippets the other reason i say steve should take his time is because bro is only 25 and he's been doing music before he could even drive Bef bro was ha doing music when he had a curfew still before he was even able to graduate from high school still he was nominated for a grammy at 17 years old being part of the band the internet for their album ego death what the hell were you doing at 17 years old at 17 most y'all was getting left on red by your crush going on the hub to find a similar actress that looked just like her beating your little meat then getting on the game telling your homeboys to get on warzone or fortnite or 2k you wasn't nominated for a grammy at 17 i know you wasn't for sure you wasn't i know you wasn't and even after all that he took his talents to become solo and he went on to be nominated for six more grammys winning one grammy at the 65th annual grammy for the best progressive r&b album going to gemini rights steve has done a lot more than plenty of other artists in his old but young career and honestly if he wants he can michael jordan this bitch retire and come back whenever he feels like in my opinion he could pull a frank ocean if he wants 
real talent is going to win all day. So, in my opinion, Steve Lacey, where is he now? What happened to Steve Lacey? He's cooling. He's chilling. He's active on social media, so he's not gone. His fans are still actively supporting him. They're, he's still touching those numbers on the socials. So, obviously, he still has his fan base. And I believe maybe this year or next year, he will drop. And I'll be waiting. I'm not forcing bro to drop. I'll be waiting regardless. What do y'all think? Let me know what you think. Get in the comments. And see, if you still watching right now, bro, you might as well sub and like. I'm just saying, in my opinion, I would just sub and like. But it's been your boy, Zio. Y'all stay cool. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Soja out. Bah.